Here is a sneak peek of what we are making today, DIY marquee letters using cardboard with lights. Assalamu everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. Today's video is all about upcycling, recycling and a lot of cycling. So today we're going to be making a DIY Jadda marquee. This sign you can find at the Jadda Coronation. So let's get started. So what you will need to do is print out the letters for the template. I'm going to do Jadda, how it is in the waterfront. Okay, so there are many ways you can do this. You can do a freehand on the cardboard piece itself. I'm not good at that, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna use a template. So instead of tracing um, the letter onto the cardboard, I just stick it with a bit of masking tape. This masking tape will help keep the template in place while you cut around the cardboard. Okay, that's done. Now you can use a pair of scissors to cut or you can use, oh, I love the sound, the blade. And to cut precisely, I just use a ruler. neatly that cuts okay so here I have cut the shape of J on the cardboard I can just remove this very easily Ta -da! now we have to paint it I'm gonna use acrylic uh, a mixture of acrylic and water paints. I'm using these two colors, sap green and viridian. Make sure you paint the front and all of the sides. Okay, so the J has been painted. You have to let it dry, let it dry, let it dry. Okay, so while this is drying, now we're going to make the strips that will go around, that will go around the letters. To make sure all of the strips have the same width, I'm going to use the width of this ruler. So all the strips are going to be the same width. The length, of course, will be longer according to the cardboards. So make sure you make a lot of them, just to cover all the letters. Paint these. And paint the sides. So now they're both tried. Now take the glue gun, place it on the side, and stick this. Make sure that you make the strip of the cardboard bendy so it takes the shape of the letter easily. Okay, you're gonna do this with all the letters. And here it's done. 
J E D D A H. So now it's all ready. There's a bit of decoration inside. That's optional. Just make the holes and place the decorative lights, the LED decorative lights through. So here I've poked holes and I am putting the lights through. I've done it for J, E, D, I'm doing the other D. A and H are left. Let me just finish this and then we'll light it up. So now I've put tape to secure all the wires at the back. All of them are taped. Now to stand them up. And now for the finale. Ooh, turning on the lights. So I got these indoor outdoor 100 LED decorative lights from Marcus Bawazir for 12 reals. It has 8 adjustable modes. You can use the lights in combination, in waves, sequential, slow glow, chasing, flush, slow fade, twinkle and steady on. It can create vibrant dynamic atmospheres. A single memory function as long as this mode is selected the light will also light up in the same mode next time and you will not need to worry about reinstating it. It's practical and effortless decoration for the room, garden, tree, etc. at Christmas, weddings, parties, birthday parties, New Year's Eve and other holidays to create a unique atmosphere. So on the box, at the back of the box it's written it's energy saving and very durable high brightness at the same time very energy efficient it is safe and reliable the bulbs do not generate much heat the multicolor fairy lights stay cool for a long time which is touchable and safe for children uh, these are waterproof fairy lights it can therefore be used for indoor and outdoor decorations to create the lucky atmosphere Ideal for indoors, gardens, Christmas trees, yard, patios, balconies, lawns, porches, wall, you name it. Okay, so as already shown, these are not battery operated. There's a power supply with it. Now, at the back of the box, it's also written, please keep the power supply away from the water or rain. As the power supply, the controller itself is not waterproof. Any rough handling could damage or twist the bulbs, and then they might not work. So please handle them with care. So one, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah is. Hey, you stuck around. If you want to watch similar DIY videos, please check out the playlist right here.